and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Rakdos burn. That's right. Uh, we had this on the docket for yesterday, but we kind of ran out of time. Uh, so I pushed it to today. So we have our, our uh, pretty sweet donation deck here. So this is a, a burn deck that's trying to play a long game. We have the, the two main focal points of the deck are sword point diplomacy and risk factor where, you know, like both of them can, you know, they can deal damage. Um, or, you know, like with risk factors point, uh, if the opponent wants to, you can just draw extra cards. And so this, this deck actually has a lot of card advantage between these two cards. And of course, light at the stage as well. If you don't know sword point diplomacy, it's a pretty nice one that uh, you just take the top three cards and your opponent gets to look at them and they can either say, uh, put that card in your hand or I'll pay three life to exile it. So a lot of times, like maybe this like draws one or two cards and then deals three to six damage. Um, so, you know, as in a burn deck where that damage is uh, really valuable, it's a pretty nice card. really like it. The new card from this, uh, from War of the Spark for this deck, here's Dreadhorde Butcher, which I think is a, a nice aggressive attacking creature. Pretty excited about that one in here. And then you also have Tybalt, because the thing about this deck is this deck was really weak against life gain uh, before. I, I played this deck before War of the Spark, um, and whenever all your your spells, like you're trying just to just do damage, um, and because you know you want to do as much damage as possible to make Risk Factor and Sword Point Diplomacy even better, uh, where they like ha you know have to just like let you draw all the cards, you just draw more burn spells and kill them. Well, if they gain if they're like gaining life, it's making your cards weaker and it's a lot harder to, to win the game because you're not playing much defense here. So I really like Tibalt saying opponents can't gain life. I think that's really nice. We got a couple more over in the sideboard. That's a perfect kind of card for this deck here. I am a little worried about how many threes we have over here. Now we have light up the stage, skewer the critics. Those can cost one. That's a lot of skewers. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of see how it plays out. And I remember whenever I was playing this deck previously, I was playing 21 lands because, you, you know, you really do want to hit get those those three lands. And so we have 20 over here. So I'm a little worried about that. I kind of like maybe another land instead of like one of these skewers, for example. Uh, but we'll see how it works. You know, like light at the stage helps you hit those land drops. So we'll see if that's the case. Uh, besides that, I kind of feel like duress would be better than drill bit. But Drillbit does get Lyra, you know, like Lyra Dawnbringer is a, a real problem, of course. Um, or like other creatures like Basilica Bell Hunt, for example, from Esper. Uh, Drillbit getting Basilica Bell Hunt is really nice. But yeah, that's our that's our deck. Um, all right, let's give it a try. So as y'all know, donation decks, I go ahead and play over in the traditional constructed queue. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's get a let's get a Bernie avatar. Who we got? We got Sarkin, Chandra, Angrath. Angrath's a good one. That'll help help us out. <laughs> yep, saving up some gold for. Uh, Corset 2020 that's coming out. Um, so yeah, Wispy. Um, yeah, if you're a new new uh, Magic Arena player, Mono Red is is a deck that is a really solid deck that uh, is probably the easiest to start acquiring, um, start getting cards for, and everything. I'd recommend checking out. Uh, this site here, Wispy, that just has a whole lot of deck lists on there, and you can kind of see if there's something that you know, kind of that either you gravitate towards or that you have a good amount of cards towards from your collection or anything like that. Um, you know, kind of see what what works for you. Of course, if you're if you're just doing a free to play collection, you're not going to have any specific deck right away, of course. But you know, you can start start going towards wherever you want. No, Lumasi, I don't. No, I don't. I don't hate the format. I don't. 
I also just don't hate things. I don't... I don't like that. I don't think that's a very useful emotion, basically. Hmm. Well, that's a little unfortunate. Not getting a land there. We're not going to be able to play both of those. Well, we get the risk factor, so that's nice. So I got nine points of burn in my hand right now. My opponent's at ten. Gustavo! I'm doing really good. Hope you're doing good as well. Had a good day so far. I'm excited about the Sultai Control deck that we're going to play later on. Been putting a little bit of work into that. And it's feeling, feeling pretty good. Yeah, we're yeah, we're similar to red deck wins here, but we are we are different. Um, cuz you know, this is this is a lot more just straight up burn spells um, and less, you know, creatures. Right, I'd like to draw a land so we can double spell. That'd be the, not, the best. No, we don't have Frenzy. We have Risk Factor and the Sword Point Diplomacy for our top end. Hey, Whopper Stopper. So we're just hoping no crisis right now. Be wary of the ground you walk on. This crisis would have them gain three. Yep, this is the first deck today. See on the left hand side, we're going straight down the line. The so Rakdos Burn is up first. No Krasis. Okay, good. No Krasis. Right on schedule. Still just need to draw that land. Don't worry. I got this. Hey, Radical Guru. Mm. Can't get that land. Down to two. Hopefully, still no crisis. I 
because risk factor and um, sword point diplomacy, they can give you like the extra cards. You know, having enough mana to play all your cards is kind of necessary. Also, it's a little worried about the 20 lands that we have going on here. No, I am not making this up as I go. All right, well, we're dead next turn anyway, and we don't have um, we don't have wizard's lightnings in here, so it's not like I, I need to keep a wizard around for that possibility of a draw step. There's no wizard's lightnings. Hooray! I can't play an instant anyway because it's a fairy, remember, so. Alright. So that's what our deck's doing. This is a deck that could, you know, play Lyra, could definitely be playing Shalai. So I probably need these Bedevils because of that. And if I'm playing Bedevils, I don't I don't know if I have more room for Tabalts also. You know, I can't just play... It's something I'm a little concerned about this sideboard. Everything costs three. I really wish we had, like, a lot more ones and twos over here. Or at least another land or two in the sideboard. I'd like to be able to go up up on lands if we're playing these cards. So I mean, because if I play more Tibalt and if I play Bedevils, because the Lyra shall I mean, I can't I can't just have all these three mana cards. So risk factor is targeting opponents. Sword Point Diplomacy does not target. I'm going to try replacing a couple skewers with a couple drill bits also. It seems like, you know, like they have like some really powerful cards at the top end, like maybe having some drill bits could be nice for that. If we can sneak in like an early attack with a creature, drill bit him. I could see Vioshino Pyromancer being a card to take out here. We don't want to mulligan too much with this deck. This is the kind of deck that like needs like the mass, like all of the cards. Like we need all we need all of our cards. Like we don't. This deck doesn't mulligan very well. So we ha I'm keeping this hand with a couple of shocks that can kill some mana creatures. All right, well, Vyashino Pyromancer is a great draw. Now, got to find this black mana. Feels like good old Face Hunter in Hearthstone. Face is the place. I'm not uh, completely familiar with that deck, but yep, that's what that's what we're doing here. All right, called it the Hedgelai. Good thing we don't. Good thing we have diplomacy, not risk factor. 
Thanks, corn lover. Nope, just another shirt and tie that I've worn plenty of times. All right, they're giving me the butcher, giving me the dragon skull summit, and giving me the mountain. Okay. Good three mana draw three. I will protect the virtue of this world. Behold, nature's true power. It's an annoying one. Yeah, I can't. I cannot drill bit. Opponent has hex proof. Um, I'm gonna go like this so I can bedevil Nissa. Yeah, it would have been really nice to get this. You know, we wanted to cast this drill bit before Shalai, of course. You know, taking Shalai Nissa. Like, that's that's why we have this drill bit in here. Harness the elements. Just beating these 3-3s three is going to be tough. If they have any follow-up, like if they have, like, a crisis or anything, that's going to be it. It certainly looks like they do. Alright, well that's game. Getting stuck on that black mana for a little too long. I think I definitely like these drill bits, though. I like that uh, plan. I just don't know about these Tibalts, honestly. I know they stop my opponent from gaining life, but... I don't feel like these 1-1s one are going to really do anything. I don't really want them. I need these risk factors for extra cards also. Alright, actually I'm gonna keep alright, so I'm gonna take out Sovereign's Bite and gonna try playing a couple of risk factors. You know, that's that's another thing that just targets up there. Gonna keep the skewers in and hope on on the play that we we can have these skewers be one mana cards. Hopefully. War boss is another three drop. We're just flooded, over flooded with three drops. Oh man, if we just had black mana, I would love this hand. It's not a mulligan though. Just gotta hope, you know, just pray that we draw black mana. Yeah, so report Diplom diplomacy is good. I like that card. So why did my opponent not attack first before playing the the crisis the previous turn? It's because they got to add two mana with Nissa and then untap a land. If they go to combat, they 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 don't you they don't get that extra two mana. So instead of attacking me, so they they valued the two mana over. Um, over the six damage, which you know is definitely debatable. I kind of feel like you know, like the six damage would be really nice, but that's why they didn't.
Paradise Druid's kind of the worst. I don't get to shock that or anything. So if they play a Shalai, um, the reason why I'm not playing Lava Runner here is because if they play a Shalai this turn, I won't really be able to play the Skewer because I can't shock them in that case. So going this route instead. Come on, land, black land. Ugh. So they're at 11. So let's put them to 9, 7, 4. I'm going to have to cast the shock. So Incubation Druid does get to, you know, grow to like the 3-5 and everything. So I'll get rid of that. I don't love that option, but I don't, didn't necessarily love any option, to be honest. So yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't pass because like that, that shock was going away because the light of the stage. I had to cast it. Tulsimar is rough. Alright. So is that. It's five life. It would been really nice to be able to drill a bit that Tulsimar. Certainly seems like we need a, at least we need another black source in the sideboard if we're not going to have any more in the main deck. It doesn't really seem like a a reasonable amount of black sources in this deck when there's Bedevil in the sideboard. Okay, there we go. What else you got going on over here? Another Krasis, that's gone. So I'm not sure how we're going to get 10 damage here. Maybe they mess up with sword point diplomacy. It's not them messing up. So that that extra five life they gate they gained that game. They gained five life from Tulsimer and, and Krasis, and we got them down to five. Could have done an extra two. Close game, close game. 
I couldn't risk factor plus butcher because risk factor I'd have to discard a card, so I would have had to discard the land or the butcher. All right, we got black mana here, though. Both of those games we lost, not having the black mana early was, was really the killer. Keep this going. What are we playing next turn? Summit and Butcher. Um, uh, I'm not. I'm not sure. MB. I've you know I've been looking at the M20 cards and everything, and you know really liked them and, and everything like that. But I guess I haven't really been thinking about a. You know, have you know? I'm still. I'm still thinking about like the current standard. You know, I'm not looking ahead to exact, you know, exactly what I'm going to be playing and that kind of stuff. Next format yet. I'm still building decks and everything in this format. I feel like Dreadhorde Butcher just dies here, and it may be better to play some of the other cards in our hand. No, well, I guess we'll play this. Yeah, we lose the card anyway, but... <clears throat> oh, I didn't die. But I, I was figuring that it was just going to eat a removal spell. Hey, that actually worked out perfectly for us. We got the Skewer the Critics ionized instead of Sword Point or Risk Factor. But, you know, like, this is a Grixis deck. It's reasonable that they could have, like, Enter the God Eternals or something. You never know. All right, let's go Sword Point first. So they got Mountain Swamp Skewer. See, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So they they paid three life to not have me cast skewer, but that doesn't make a lot of sense because I would otherwise have to cast it for the three damage. Like I was, was going to have to cast it anyway. Yes, he said, don't you risk factor first? Seems at, at that HP, they're more likely to take it. What I'd rather them give me cards than, t than take it for risk factor. Like the three cards are most assuredly going to be better than four damage. And it's... If I... Each individual card doing three, though, is is pretty nice. Uh, if I um, wait on the sword point, the sword point's just going to be a draw three. Yeah, I liked how it, you know, dealt the three, and I don't know. I like sword pointing first. Also, usually sword pointing, like, lets you hit your land drops and everything and makes it so, like, risk factoring's easier. That, that specific time, we had other lands in hand, but usually, you know, usually with this deck, you don't really have other lands in hand, and you want Sword Point first. Uh, 
Uh, I own a lot of ties. I don't I don't have any exact number or anything. But it's a lot. Just give them, giving them all to me, huh? You just have them all. You just have a ball. With all these cards. Yeah, I saw that we have the Scrylands coming back in M20. I'm excited about that. I like Scrylands a lot. I don't think you're supposed to mill the person that obviously has all these risk risk factors. You've already seen two. I don't think you're supposed to mill them. Should have tapped the swamp, but we should be fine. Well. All right, that's our deck. That was a good showing of our deck. Lots of lots of card advantage. It certainly helps when we, when we get to just keep hitting land drops like that. But that's the power of sword point diplomacy and risk factor together, given our deck so much card advantage, so much burn. Um, yeah, they just can't deal with it. All right, so what do we want to do? Ugh. So Theater of Horrors, you know, certainly is like the card that seems like it got to be playing Theater of Horrors against Grixis with them not having enchantment removal. Chandra Drill Bit, reasonable cards as well. I mean, kind of same with Tabalt. We must have to be worried about like Nicol Bolas coming down and presenting a fast clock. Grixis is really good at killing creatures. I kind of want to move away from creatures because of that. And that's kind of the problem with Tibalt, is Tibalt does is just kind of creatures. Try this out. Grixis is usually pretty good at killing planeswalkers too. May not may not be worth it to play the Chandra. <laughs> Thanks, Alexis Bros. Yeah, glad you love the Teamer Hydra deck. Yeah, that's a good one. Hey Mr. Moog, day is going good. Day is going good. Okay. All right, I don't think I'm just gonna shock on turn one here. Just get this Blood Crypt in tapped. Never know if that damage is gonna matter later on in the game. That person right there. Hey, Yud! Seven month streak. Bringing that hive. Thank you so much, Yud. Our first sub of the day. Perfect draw. Wow, we got that sub luck right there. Thanks, Yud. 
We got that lucky draw. Right there. Blast zone. I can take out a theater of horrors. Alright, upstairs. And so this is what I was talking about was when I was saying like the the uh, four mana nickel bolus. I mean four mana four mana Kefnet, same kind of thing. That's like the the one worry I'd have about this match is like the like them playing that four mana flyer on curve and you know making it a five turn clock after that. Uh, looks like you know looks like that's exactly what's happening here. So this is the <clears throat> the one way I I envisioned us losing or being able to lose really. Uh, let's. Let's see if we can get enough firepower, though. Because the longer the game goes, the better for us. It's kind of weird. But it's certainly true. <laughs> I wish I would have played the Swamp earlier. I don't really want to play the Swamp. I guess I could get to play the Theater of Horrors. Get to play the Dragon Skull Summit under the Theater Four. Sorry. So I assume Chandra's gonna die. Like if they just Angrass. Angrath rampaged away a creature that can't be their only planeswalker removal spell, but at least it takes Whatever. up like their turn Figure here. That is really good for us. I'm not attacking. That is very good. All right, sword point doing its thing. Mountain theater, Viachino pyromancer, pay three life or have me draw it. All right, they just said take them all. Cool. I will. Thank you. Um, I guess playing the other one's not so good against theater. And oh, I guess the, this lightning strike's going away, isn't it? Yeah, that strike's strike would have been gone. So. Let's play that thing. And yeah, I could have strike and shocked the Kefnet, attacked them for two, but they're also at, you know, not that much life. I think just going upstairs will be just fine. We should just be able to kill him here. Yep. Because that's three, six, eight. They're at seven. Even more damage. Um, we need a Grixis burn. Didn't Jack? Didn't you donate for a Grixis burn deck before? I know somebody donated for a Grixis burn deck before. The blue was for like Ionize and Expansion Explosion, I think. I think that was it. What is going on? I 
I've never seen these error messages before. You're also having connection issues at the moment. Is Arena down? Well, cool. There's there's no buttons to hit anywhere. Hmm. It's a nice looking logo. Give him that. It's got an R. Arena. It's a little R. It's a little harder to see. Magic the Gathering Arena. All right, you want me just to force close it? All right, force close. <laughs> Arena. Preparing assets. Hmm. Good looking logo. Okay, now we're ready. Have I not lost yet? Okay, we're back in it. Um, I'm not sure there, Mr. Moo. I'm not very good settings person. All right, Bant again. Let's just pass. Let's not kind of give up the our gig here of like what we're trying to do. Seriously? Why people gotta be playing Shalai? We're just trying to play our burn deck over here. Why is so rude? Sorry, I'm late. Don't worry, I got this. Oh, why did I just play that land from hand when this one's going away? Whoops. Now to just play that land from hand. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, shall I stop in one burn card at a time, huh? I don't like it. I don't like shall I one bit.
So we need no Krasis, no Nyssa. I think last time our opponent had the, the Nyssa on turn five, both our games that we lost. Nyssa puts a real fast clock on us, of course. I feel like they would just be slamming Nyssa if they had it. All right, they resolved pretty fast. We d they don't have the double blue for Frilled Mystic, but you know they could have some other counter spell, I suppose. So Risk Factor, Mountain, Lava Runner. Alright, they took two instead of letting me have Risk Factor. Yay! No more shall I. Yay! I got nine upstairs right now. Hopefully no crisis. No, I am not making this up as I go. Oh gosh, if they would have had a spark double <laughs> for the July. Yeah, that would have been G next to a G. Slam down on the screen. Ooh, down to nine. Back up to eleven. I'm not gonna let their Teferi draw a card or like Teferi, Teferi could have bounced the Krasis and they could have replayed Krasis, gained some life. That's why I dealt the one to Teferi there. Alright, let's get one more burn spell in case of Frilled Mystic. Let's get one more burn spell here. Doesn't really seem like they have Frilled Mystic. Hmm. I kind of want to ping Teferi again. I really don't want them to bounce Krasis. Time for Plan B. As soon as I think of one. Okay, so we're going to cut bite, and on the draw here, I'm going to cut some butchers, honestly. Cut all our twos. Hope these things cost one. Have ones and threes. Let's do that. Let's cut butcher.
Lolly Jaeger, it's going good. Hmm. Light the stage is gonna have to help me hit my land drops. But I like having. I mean, I like this hand. We got our black mana. Lands. Ooh, all right. We're getting there. Yeah, this is the Rakdos Burn deck. That was the last deck from yesterday. Yep. Yeah, I... Didn't play it yesterday. So I can either Viashino Pyromancer and do two to myself, or I can just cast the strike that's gonna go away and just, you know, strike the Shalai and have the lava runners do an extra two point of damage. I'm just gonna do that. I mean obviously I can't target anything else but Shalai. I can't can't do anything else. We really needed the, another land drop there because you know strike plus shock would have been really nice. Yeah, the strike's going to get banished, so that that at least let us do two extra damage. And now these lava runners are two twos. Maybe we draw a black source and get to the devil. Yeah, what a hand. Turn three shall I turn four Nissa? What a hand. <laughs> There's some birds flapping around and everything outside, and Hawkeye's all excited about it. So I don't really like Tabalt. Like, what's what's this Tabalt doing? Like, for this matchup, I'm talking about not it, not disliking Tabalt in general, but for this matchup. Man, I guess it would have stopped life gain there. <laughs> Tabalt's instigating. Well, thankfully, our our one liner, one lander lined up with their perfect curve. So, hopefully, game three now. Well, you hover over the this thing, and it goes to it says adjust options there. So that's their perfect curve. So now, you know, hopefully, they don't curve out like that again for a game three. All right, being back on the draw, or sorry, on the play. Let's get the butchers back in on the play. Um, I'm just gonna take out those. We'll go with three of them. Yeah, Masker Girl is very solid against Nissa. Of course, it only takes out the lands that Nissa had already animated. Nissa just gets to keep on animating more lands, though.
Does Bant Ramp have the best perfect cur perfect curve? I could see that. I mean, it's mana creatures. Anything with mana creatures in Nissa is probably going to have the best perfect curve. All right, first hand that we just had to absolutely mulligan. This one is not ideal either. I don't think I think we have to keep it though. I need to draw one or a two mana spell in here. This, this hand could be really bad, though. Be a good, good time for that Dreadhorde Butcher. Melody, Nissa, Nissa. I guess we could draw a creature. I guess we should take this. Please give us a land. Land. All right, it's gonna be really tough to race Nissa. You know, Nissa deals three, then six, then nine. You know, like it's just basically impossible to race Nissa. Hey, Dark Space. All right, so they took three instead of. They took three instead of giving us uh, Bedevil. So I have eight points of burn right now. It's a strange and magnificent world. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Okay. That was a good turn for us, but I don't don't know what we're doing from here. <laughs> awesome. 3 0 today with Ban Arkbo and Ranked. Way to go.
So I could have put myself dead on board, but you know, like with like the the other Nissa, you know, playing the other Nissa, attacking with four creatures, I'm dead. But I can't win without doing this, really. I don't I don't think going face no you know it only puts him down to five we're still a couple of turns away from winning I think I just have to slow him down honestly I don't know maybe not I guess if I go if I go upstairs five because like the butcher definitely gets to go and get in for two and so really I guess all I had to do is just draw a three damage burn spell the yeah maybe I should have gone upstairs Oh, right, because I couldn't go upstairs because then, yeah, because they kill me. Right. Behold, nature's true power. Right. That's a great card. And Nisses are good. Every game we've lost involved turn 5 Nissa, Or, well, some of them turn 4 Nissa. It's just such a fast clock. All right, so our deck was pretty cool. You know, Nissa on turn five was rough. Vault. Let's go. Cool. Got the vault opened up. All right, so basically, my biggest uh, my biggest thing about this deck is our sideboard. I I really don't like how everything costs three or more really want some kind of cheaper things um, or even just a, a land or two in the sideboard so basically I think the Chandra's are just not I don't think they're they're really necessary kind of rather have like a 20 just 21 land in general than 20 Almost all of our, our losses, you know, like we were just stuck on lands. Um, I mean, it may have to be a Gilgate, though. I never really minded one Gilgate in this deck. So what if we just play like a Gilgate? And get rid of I actually wasn't very impressed with Dreadhorde Butcher in this deck. I was excited to try out Dreadhorde Butcher, but it's honestly not very impressive. So I don't think you need Tibalt in the main though. Tibalt can just be a cyborg card. And then like if these Chandras go away.
I mean, do we want like lava coil? Like, yeah, like like just something like lava coil that could take out Shalai that doesn't cost three mana. Um, as far as sideboard wise goes, I always kind of liked. Yeah, I think just coil. I've always kind of liked. Um, I don't remember the name of the card. Price of Fame. Always kind of like Price of Fame in this deck to kill Shalai and Lyra for two mana and Surveil two. Always kind of like that card in the sideboard. Ooh, I could see the red finale actually being good here. It, it basically cost five mana. Nah, it's probably worse than Angrath. I I have a, I have just loved Angrath in this deck. I think this is a lot better than Chandra. You know, steal steal something. You know, steal like a Krasis and whack him with it, or you know, you just get down and the the plus one is just awesome. Um, I really liked this one. But honestly, made just a couple coils. I don't like Warboss at all. I don't think Warboss is a necessary card either. Coils give you something that's not a million mana. Get one Angrath over here since we got this 21st land. I think that would be like a little bit of change here. Hey, I've had. Um, I don't think, I don't know. Warboss is fine against Esper, but the thing is, it's just com competing for that same slot as Tybalt. You know, like if you're just playing Tybalt against Esper, like that's where I really want Tybalt to stop both Akaya. Stop uh, Basilica Bell Hunt. I don't know if we can just play like the you know the card that gets Cry the Canarium away very easily also and just have all those three drops. Um, well, as you can see with no twenty one lands is definitely not too much for our deck. Uh, you know, like that was all of our losses weren't getting enough lands. But as you can see, our curve is really high. We have lots and lots of threes. You know, like the light of the stages and the skewers are not always one. Um, they're not. They're not, like they're not always one mana. And like this deck needs to hit the th the three lands. Like you you have to. You know, if you're not hitting your third land, you're you're losing. And honestly, just hitting four, five, six lands is perfectly fine with this deck. It's actually pretty good because you get extra cards with uh, Risk Factor, Sword Point Diplomacy, and you can just keep double, triple spelling and everything like that. Um, hey, what's up, Comet? Thanks for that sub there. So that's our second sub of the day there. So that's what I'd recommend for this deck to help you out. like Be a little more consistent, get that Gilgate in there to be a little bit more consistent. Um, as far as mana goes, and at least have something, you know, like a coil over here that doesn't just cost three mana for the sideboard. And then also get an Angrath in here, because Angrath is awesome, awesome in this deck. So, all right. <laughs> um, yeah, so I always type, I just type 11 in the search bar to get, because... If you don't type anything, it has, you know, like it looks like this. And these, I hate, I hate these really big cards that have nothing to do with the deck that just, you know, are like much bigger than like the actual deck. I mean, it's not a, it's not a good layout. Like this is not a good, this is not a well-designed um, layout screen at all. Like, and so I just want to get rid of these cards. And so just typing like 11 just gets rid of it real, really quickly. And, and so, yeah, you know, I want to actually emphasize the, the deck and not, those ugly cards. Um, so that's why I do that. Anyway, there is Rakdos Burn. Uh, we only played the three matches, but it was a, a good, um, good three matches and uh, showcased the deck there pretty well. And uh, these are the changes that I would recommend here. 
All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it, and please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Um, oh, comment! Oh, comment was my last. Uh, oh, sorry, comment. I just I missed. Sorry, I missed your your comment there. Comment. You are our last opponent, and you came in here, gave the sub. You are amazing. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> um. All right, so yep, there we go. Anyway, like I was saying, I um, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another one.